Hi, welcome to Emoji Economics once again. I know some of you may not be able to see some of the things on the board, and that's why I try to read them out, to read them out, so that you'll be able to, so that you miss out on anything. Now, today we're talking about the determinant of a matrix. So, how do we find the determinant of a matrix? So, we have, I don't know if you've come across something like this before, you just have matrix A equals something like this, and you have to find something like this. So, what does this mean? This is the determinant of matrix A. So, it is written. And you kind of have two strokes beside whatever matrix that you are given, and then that is to that is right there that you should find the determinant. Now, what's a determinant? The determinant is a single number or scalar, a single number of scalar, or let me just say a scalar number or a scalar basically that is only found for square matrices. That's only found for square, and you know, we've spoken about square matrices before, matrices that have the same number of columns and rows, except a one by one matrix. So, that is just called a scalar matrix. So it's not a square matrix. A square matrix is not a square matrix. So if you have a two by two matrix, a three by three, four by four, five by five, so all of those are square uh, matrices. So if the determinant is zero, by the time you find this and the answer is zero, the matrix is singular. The matrix is singular. Now, what does a singular matrix mean? Now, a singular matrix is a matrix in which there is a linear independence between at least two rows, two two rows or two columns. So in this case, there will be no unique solution as the system will have infinite number of solutions. So now, now if you are if you are trying to use matrices to solve um, um, a system of let me say simultaneous equation, for example, all right. So there will be a point where the determinant would be needed. You would have to divide something by the determinant. So if the determinant is zero, so that's the answer of infinity, you know, something like that. So we are going to get to that in subsequent videos when we start talking about. No, um, using the inverse inverse rule is it inverse rule or, or something else? So the Kramer's rule to to solving a system of linear equation and the inverse uh, method as well. So when we get there, so you will start to see what you have examples of what I'm saying. So by the time there will be a point where you have to, especially when you when the inverse method is used, so there will be a time maybe it's the adjunct or something that has to be divided by the determinant, and if the determinant is zero, so that's divided by the zero is going to give us infinity. Right, so the determinant shouldn't be zero for us to have a unique solution for a system of linear equations or other things that we want to do. Now, in this particular case, so how do we find the determinant here? Now, it then depends on the number of rows and columns, the type of matrix, the dimension of let me just say the dimension of the matrix that we are talking about. But basically, basically, all you just have to do is to multiply the numbers along the principal diagonal, which is also called the main diagonal. Then we subtract the multiplied numbers on the non on the uh, on the on the non principal diagonals from that of the principal diagonal. Now all of that is just English, it's just grammar. So let us just get to business and we understand what I mean. Now to find the determinant here, so what we just have to do? What is the principal diagonal? You know, I explained that I think in the first or second video, and the principal diagonal is this. The diagonal is a line that divides the shape into two equal halves. Right, is this so the principal diagonal is running from left to right? All right, so the what we are going to do here is we are going to multiply this. So, um, a now is going to be uh, so we'll be having a11 one, one, a22, two, two, right? We're having this, all right? So, minus then the element of the principal diagonal of it. So, we have a21 and a12 that are off the principal diagonal. So we have a21, a21 and a12, alright, and a12. So this is, so whatever answer we get here is equated to be a single number, alright, and that is going to be the determinant of it. Now let's, let's talk about, let's have some numerical examples. So we have a, so we have matrix A as this, 6, 5, 2, 9. So we have 6, 5, 2, 9. And then we have matrix B as, um, now, do we need a matrix B? Anyway, um, 4 minus 6, then 6, 9. Alright, so let's say we are looking for the determinant of matrix B, for example. So, the determinant of matrix B, for example. So, that's going to give us, this is the principal diagonal, right? So, we're having a 4 multiplied by 9 minus, and these are the elements of the principal diagonal. Remember, this is minus 6, so minus 6 times 6 all right so here we have 4 times 9 is 36 minus uh, minus 6 times 6 is what minus 36 okay so we have a 36 plus 36 
which is equal to 72. All right, now let us find the determinant of matrix A. Let me just write that here. Okay, so we have this would be equal to, um, what do we have here? 6 times 9. So we are let us write 54 straight up. Since you already understand what I mean, minus 2 times 5 minus 10, which is what? Uh, 44. Now, I want to be sure, I want to be sure if this is actually 72. All right, it's actually 72. So what if, what if this, what if this had been, okay, let's say we have a matrix C. Let's say we have a matrix C, which is, um, so, okay, we, okay, which is 4, um, 6, 6, and 9. Now let's find the determinant of matrix C. So matrix C will then be the principal diagonal, which is this. So 4 times 9 is 36, then minus 36, right? So this is 0. So if we attract this is an example of a singular, so that's just what I want to bring out, an example of a singular matrix. So here, matrix C is 0. So if this were to be a system of linear equations, or a system basically that you're trying to solve for the value of x and y, then the value of a and b and something like that, you won't be able to do so because the determinant here is already 0. Right? Because at the end of the day, there will be no unique solution for the... Um, it's for the system that you are considering. Anyway, so this is how to do it for a 2 by 2 matrix. So the issue here is about what do we do when we have a 3 by 3 matrix because that is where it could be, you know, funny. And that could be funny. So uh, we just have this subtopic determinants. Determinants of a what? Of a 3 by 3. It's actually the method we're going to be using here is actually the same thing as. Uh, that will be using for a 4x4 four four matrix and whatever like that and other kind of uh, matrices so if you have matrix A there's matrix A of course this is A1 I know you'll be repeating that time already so this is still this is going to be A12 A13 alright so we have A21 A31 A is this one A22 A32 so this is going to be A23, A33. Alright. So if we have this, A1, A1, A2, A2, okay, if we have this, how do we find the determinant? Now this is this is a little bit uh, funny, but it is very simple. What we have to do is if we put a plus on the first row and the first column. This represents the first row and the first column, right? We put a minus, that's just the rule. We put a minus on we assign the first row and the second column, then we put a plus on the first row and the third column. If we have an now it will be minus, so plus, minus, plus, minus, like that. So that is how it is. Then what we now have to do is we are going to strike out the first row and the first column. Whereas we'll be leaving the coefficient, we'll be leaving um, the we'll be leaving the first element with its sign. Now what I mean is this. I'm going to write this three times, all right, for us to understand. So what I mean is this: you cross this out, you cross this out. But remember that this is starting with plus a11, right? So we have plus a11 into brackets. All right, so we are left with this, right? So then we then subtract the elements of the principal diagonal from the one on the principal diagonal. So this is the principal diagonal here. So we're having a22, a22, a33 minus a32, a23, a32. A, two, three. Actually, that is not the end. That's not the end because that's then after that we we'll just strike out the uh, still the first row, but it will be the first row and the first column. So that's why I said I'm going to write this three times. So uh, bear with me. A one one, A one. It's just for you to understand what I mean. A one three, A two one, A two two, A two three, A three one, A three two. A33. What students do basically here is to just do a mental elimination. But um, since this is our first time, so that might not be very easy, and not everyone might, uh, not everyone might get that. So we have A33. So uh, two three rather. We have A31, A32, and we have A33. All right, so we've crossed out this here. So we have, you know, the minus is going to be here now, and then we are going to be having a plus on this. So we strike out this column and this row. But remember, that it's a minus a12, right? So we're having, okay, this place will contain it again minus a12 into brackets. What's the element on the principal diagonal here? So on the principal, this is it's going to be a21, a33, 
all right we cross it like this and then we are left with this so we have a21 multiplied by a2 multiplied by a33 a33 all right then minus the, the element of the principal diagonal a31 and a23 a31 and a23 all right so after the minus then we get to the plus here is you have to note that variable plus what is going to be i'm going to have a13 outside a13 outside then we strike this out and strike this out so what's our principal diagonal a21 and a32 so we have a21 a32 minus a31 and a22 a31 and a22 so that is how it goes so but by the time we are done with this we are going to have our answer for the determinants of a 3 by 3 matrix so i'm going to use a numerical example now to depict what we are trying to say so having this matrix a equals this so how then we find the determinant of matrix a so the determinant here is going to be um so this is going to be what okay recall that this is going to be a plus right now I've, I've written the same i've written the same matrix three times all right so we have a you don't necessarily have to do this you can do the mental calculation on your own and this is going to be a plus all right so the first thing is you have a plus two right so plus two into bracket and we strike this out so what's the principal diagonal here minus six times minus twelve let me write minus six times minus twelve let me make this something like this so minus six minus six times minus two all right minus six minus six times minus two then minus four multiplied by one right okay then after this we have um, this is going to be a minus so minus four then this into bracket so we have this and this so the principal diagonal here is seven times two right so we have seven times two minus three three times one minus three times one it's not really a big deal this might just be pretty lengthy then we have a plus nine here all right so you have a plus nine plus nine then into bracket seven times four i know you're already repeating it today i'm doing it seven times four all right then minus three times minus six plus three times minus six okay so the determinant of a now is going to be two minus six times minus two is twelve right so we have twelve minus four all right then minus four then fourteen minus it's going to be fourteen minus three all right then plus nine then 28 now look at this 28 minus minus 18 28 minus minus 18 so this is going to be so 12 minus 4 is 8 right 8 times 3 is 16 straight up then 14 minus 3 is 11 11 no some people will not get it okay so 2 then let me just change the bracket so 12 minus 4 is 8 then minus 4 into bracket 14 minus 3 is 11 then plus 9 let me change the bracket 28 plus minus times minus is going to plus plus 28 plus 18 is 46 all right so i hope i'm not writing rubbish uh wait, 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 wait minus 14 wait, wait i'm coming uh this 14 here so we have minus 4 crossing now 7 times 2 is 14 minus 3 times is it a minus 7 from the question because i i seem to have a minus 17 here minus 14 minus 3 Okay, let's see. This is right. So it's right. Like it is right. Nine for six is right. Four. Forty minus three, of course. Aha! This is a minus two. This is a minus two, and this is a this is a minus two here. And this is a minus three. Here. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so this is seven times minus two. This is seven multiplied by minus two. So here we'll be having minus fourteen. Minus 14 then minus 3 so that's why it's good to have a note so not that uh, one doesn't really understand what one is doing but uh to correct stuff like this so minus 14 minus 3 is minus 17 so 2 times 8 is 16 minus 7 times minus minus 4 times minus 17 is going to give us plus 68 then 68 plus 9 times 9 times 76 9 times 46 9 times 64 and that's 436 plus 541 414 414 and then the determinant is going to be 498 
Simple. So that's that's it. That's it. So very simple. The determinant of this particular matrix is 498. So your assignment is you are going to find the determinant of this matrix. You are going to find the determinant of this matrix. It's just it's a very simple something. 6 minus 2, 3 minus 0 0.5. Alright. So you find the determinant of this, right? This is question one. Then question two. No, I don't sound evil. I'm just being a nice guy. So minus half. Minus half, then three, then six, then uh, four, one over three, zero, then minus two over five, that's two over five, um, ten, and four. All right, so you find the determinant of, let me call this set A, let me call this, um, no, let me call this matrix A rather, and let me call this matrix B, so you won't think I'm happy to multiply anything. So you have to find this. For A and for number one and for number two, you have to find this. All right. So that's that's all about that. If you enjoyed this video, please like the like the video, share the video with your friends, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that before. It won't be that cool for you to watch something like this. I don't want to watch more, really. All right. So subscribe to this channel. A notification bell appears afterwards, so you click on the notification bell. That tells you when more videos, more classes are made available. Now, you might be getting different notifications besides matrices because right now I'm trying to work on a couple of projects, partial differentiation, matrices, then econometrics classes are still there. All right. So whatever the case may be, just make sure that you stick around. You might be interested in other classes that we are um, that we'll be uploading on this channel soon. So see you in the next video and make sure you leave the answers in the comment section. Really, I'm curious about that. Thank you.